I live in Leith, which is a part of Edinburgh. My name is Mona Tarbuck and I'm protesting because I am absolutely dead set against the leaf biomass generator that is proposed. It is being presented to us by Fourth Ports as being ecologically sound. It is totally unsound. They are proposing to transport timber from America to here to burn to generate electricity. That in itself is ludicrous, it is not ecologically sound. They also want permission to burn not just virgin timber, but treated timber, old, used timber. We don't want that. That's not only not ecologically sound, it is vile and vicious. And if they were not trying to do it for profit, they wouldn't be doing it at all. That's all that's about. Both ports want to make a fortune out of this because the housing market has slumped, the land they have is not going to produce the income when they propose to build houses on it, so they look for an alternative, and the alternative is to poison the people of Edinburgh, and the people of Edinburgh do not intend to put up with it. Well, I'm sorry I sound impassioned about this. I am. My name's Stuart, Stuart Lockhead, and I'm from Leith. I live with about 100 yards from Great Junction Street and about 400 yards from the site of this proposed power station. I'm sorry, I, I think it's greenwash to call it a, a biomass generator. That's just so we don't notice it's polluting the air. And how will this affect you? Well, I've got officially COPD. I've got emphysema. And increased air pollution will shorten my life. That's a st statistical fact. And it's, uh, so what am I going to do when they build this damn thing? Am I going to move away? Who's going to pay for that? And to add insult to injury, to turn around after saying they were going to put a, le a park, leisure facilities, housing, and now they're going to put a dirty power station. I'm not happy. The people of Leith have been put upon too often, what, the sea field, the noise that's coming, the, it really is too much to be, I haven't been able to sit in my back garden for many years because of the smell from Seafield. Now they're going to inflict all this extra noise. The noise from the pipe works is awful. Uh, it, it's not fair to put this in people. I pay high rates and taxes. I don't want to live and have my family living in this. It is just too much. Send it somewhere else where there's nobody living. Put people before money. That's what they should think about. People are more important. <laughs> I was reading a book on uh, Italy in the 15th century and it was described as the golden age of bastards. I actually think that that is a very appropriate term for many of the leaders of big corporations in Britain today and Fourth Port is an excellent example of why that description is appropriate. There are going to be thousands of lorries bringing in wood every single day so the air quality in Leith is going to suffer it's going to spoil the skyline of Edinburgh it's going to be an enormous structure and it's just going to be totally inappropriate for uh, uh, a world heritage site it's just going to be appalling so there are no merits in this there are rumors that uh, Alex Salmon and John Swinney are minded to approve it well, let me just say, if the SNP government approve this biomass incinerator, then the Leith Links Residents Association are now actively considering reminding everybody in Leith, every time there's an election, which government it was that allowed this to be built. That won't do much good for their uh, election hopes in the east of Edinburgh. And remember, Leith was the one constituency which they won last year and that was due to the Leith Links Residents Association because we asked people not to vote for Labour and the Lib Dems because of their attitude to Seafield sewage works. So we do have some kind of influence in the area so this is just a sort of a warning I suppose to any uh, government that is going to think seriously of putting this down here. We will remind Leithers constantly
of who it was that was responsible. There isn't that long to go. I think it's 11th of March is the deadline, so people need to get in um, as quickly as uh, possible. They need to really detail how this will affect Leith, the, why this is wrong for Leith, the fact that they don't want this for Leith, and this is, shouldn't be part of Leith's future. To be fair to the process, have you heard from many people who are in favour of it? I actually met one person that was in favour of the biomass plant um, at the public meeting a few weeks ago and they weren't actually from Forth Energy uh, but that's the only person that's contacted me um, or that I've met that's actually in support of it. Okay, and I spoke to earlier on this video, somebody from LeafLink's Residents Association suggested that um, people within the SNP might be keen to support it, for example, uh, out of Salmon, so what do you know? There's absolutely nothing to support the fact that Scottish ministers will support this at that time and they cannot say anything at this time because it is part of a, a, an official uh, planning decision. Uh, what we do know is that the Scottish policy, Scottish government's policy at the moment is about small scale biomass, it's about off grid biomass, that's where they want the focus to, to lie. So this, yes there is a renewable heat target for the Scottish government but that policy direction does not mean large scale biomass. Biomass. So uh, I'm very, very hopeful that we will see the Scottish Government take the correct decision and throw this application out. This is a cross-party uh, campaign, obviously, Shirley and Somerville and I are both working together on this, so this is not a matter of party politics. Uh, you know, we're um, you know working together to try and I think to get the Parliament to understand uh, not just the local dimension of this because a lot of MSPs are not going to be so worried about that, although we are, uh, but to understand what its consequences are for climate change because. Uh, as far as I can see, having looked at it in some detail, this is not going to help our climate change objectives because wood actually emits more carbon than coal. But you know, you can recoup some of that over decades if you plant lots of trees in the right place and trees of the right kind. But it's not going to help our carbon, uh, climate change objectives as far as 2050 is concerned. They're trying to, as it were, improve the uh, nature of the application by saying that they can use the heat. Although a lot of that's pie in the sky with it because they've no means of trans transmitting the heat to most parts of uh, Edinburgh or even Leaf. But clearly we do want to see work at Leaf uh, in terms of the development of offshore wind, constructing the turbines and, and so on. But that is a completely a separate proposal. I would argue that's an alternative proposal because offshore wind is completely environmentally friendly and completely good for climate change, whereas biomass is the opposite. So, you know, it, that, that is a red herring as far as this application is concerned. Well, they're trying to dress up this proposal in as many progressive policies as they can find, but most of what they're saying on that is, is nonsense, to be honest. Okay, and just going back a couple of weeks at Drummond High, were you at the meeting there? Yes. yes what did you think of, have you seen any of the answers that they said would be online? I've not seen any of those answers. I mean, that was a deeply unsatisfactory uh, meeting. Uh, well, the way it was set up, people really couldn't have any dialogue uh, with Fourth uh, Energy. And in fact, the way it was set up, you couldn't even be sure that your question was answered. I had a question about the climate change implications. It was quite critical, but my wording was not read out. It was just it was just concluded in some general question about it. And so it was a very unsatisfactory meeting.